Clothing, gotta get it sorted, gotta get it listed, and gotta get it sold to make some of that, what we call profit. Hi everyone, welcome to the latest video. In this video, I thought I'd share with you the clothing items I've got that's not listed and get me a kick out of the backside to list it because a lot of these items have been around over a year, might be a year and a half, possibly even two years as I've been listed. It's because clothing, I like to buy it, don't get me wrong, listing it, just find the art specifics take forever, this, that and the other, but I've got to do it, got to get listed, sort it out. So what I do, I share with you what clothing items I've got in this video, and then in the next video, I share with you what I'm listing and how I'm listing it, etc, etc, etc. So I'll turn you around. So this is the first lot, a pile here. It's not a big pile. I haven't got massive clothing, but a few bits. So first one, we've got one of these denim flower um, slim shirts, short sleeve. And then this one's quite nice. It's one of those um, Brazil tops. So it's um, a medium, short sleeved, nothing on the back. So worth about £20, something like that. Quickly go through these. So I amassed these over a couple of years or so. It's quite a lot of these from the bulk vintage haul that I got, which I'll link in the description and comments below in the card section. So one of these big ass fleeces um, regatta. So that should sell quite well if it's not got any um, defects, big fleeces from the Vault Vintage Hall. Then we've got a golfing, yeah, golfing one. I got locally back in April. I need to sell that one. Because golfing is quite big these days. North Face, got to get that sold. Easy seller, pretty much. Uh, is that a medium or a, I can't tell. Probably a large or something. Yeah, Vault Vintage Hall, that one. And this one, uh, an, an American one. Let's have a look. <sighs> polo, oh, polo jeans, large, right. One of those fleeces again. Quite nice, long sleeved. As you can see, long sleeved. Have to check out all the wear because it's from that old vintage haul. Then you got this one, just a bog standard. Um, Tommy Hilflinger, is it Hilflinger? Uh, it, yeah, heel figure, yeah, from heel figure, did USA, authentic jumper. That's nice again. That sell quite well over here for golf enthusiasts. Then this one, oh, these, these are nice. I think they're either weighted for the. Um, uh, the water when you go fishing or from the uh, uh, snow things. Yeah, snow, that's right. Extra large. Uh, Zion with sandy elements. Could be, could be both, really. Quite nice. That should sell rather well. But, yeah, I didn't get a chance to list it last year. I haven't bothered this year either. So that's that. Now I've got a lot more over here. All the items that I'm sharing with you now, clothing items, have been washed and sorted out and are there as it is. Because <laughs> uh, some of these, like, some of these little bits, American bits, have stains in them that we cannot not, not get out. We tried every single thing, conceivable. People have told us about things, we tried it, can't get it off, da da da. Anyhow, so I've got a box for these jeans and trousers. Because I'm putting it in this big box, but it didn't really work out. So jeans, for example, like you've got your Wranglers. Um, for example, you've got more uh, big Wranglers. They're a size, oh, quite a big size anyway. I can't tell, right? Oh, oh. size 36. Got some trousers there. I think, uh, have they been listed? Do you have hand? I think so. Can't remember, some has been listed, some haven't. And then you've got other bits, so just quickly, quickly, quickly go through like what we've got. Jager, Jager. More jeans, um, 
for example. So that, that, um, and then you've got like your denim, diesel, like denim ones here. These will go quite well. Quite well. Then you've got, take it around here, different types of ones. Um, other Wranglers, some of these come from the Volt Vintage Hall. They're more Wranglers. Some of these have been listed, like these have been listed, I think, these ones. Some here, I need to mark out what's been listed and what hasn't. Um, put it in these type of bags. I've got big clear bags and small ones. And then these, um, Lee ones. Yeah, some have come from the Volt Vintage Hall. Some have been listed, um, some haven't, for example. So I need to get round to it, so what, so what I can. Because if I don't, then it will just sit here forever. Um, nice little Lee, uh, Levi Strauss, yeah, different sizes. As I say, I've got two types of bags, small ones for like t-shirts and shirts, and then bigger ones for like stuff like jumpers, coats, small coats, and jeans, which I need to sort out. Um, soon as possible when they're what's listed what hasn't listed. As you can see from the trouser box, I don't do that many trousers and jeans and stuff, but hopefully get some more um, this season for whether I go to car boots, charity shops, etc, etc, etc. Sell these ones, get some more, and then we see what storage we've got after that. Then this big box, tops, t-shirts, shirts, um, jumpers, etc., etc., etc. So, likes of these little ones here listed. The um, big one for the Will Smith Freshman's Bel Air. All these ones in bags been listed. So, it's pretty easy to notify what's been listed, what hasn't. So, I've got to revise these ones um, when I'm on my store next. These little sods. It's the American one. Um, this one. I won't get it all out. Number eight. Is it, is it eight? Yeah, it's this here. <sighs> Reebok name. Da, 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 da. Um, I don't think it's got a name on the back, I don't think. It's got a lot, a lot of wear and stains on this. These ones. Horrible, that. Same with um, some of the others. This is okay. These listing a boss. Here go, boss. One. And we've got this here, golfing one again. So I think I listed, I'm not sure. Carmel Active, that's been there so long. Same with this one, Tommy Hilflinger, medium. Knees going. Because um, quite a lot of these get in here, they get quite crumpled up. Same with like, the jeans do as well. Railbrook. Um, Another American one for, is this baseball? Yeah, baseball, yeah. That's all right. Yeah, baseball, athletic. Um, athletic, yeah, I won't get it, yeah. Majestic, made in Korea. And this one, another one, a lot of stains on this as well. So as, as you can see, quite a lot there, and he's going through. I won't get them all out, but this, this one in the back, Warren. Go through that, it's got stains on somewhere, I think. And same with this one, Oakland Athletic, or, yeah. So, these come from the ones for the, um, Bolt Vintage Hall, Bolt Vintage. And then obviously these ones, there's more, you can see here. I'll turn this box around. It's just a few. Patagonia's got to be sold. That's been listed. Because I put them up different way each, easier to get them in the box. Different types, for example. I was going to keep that, but I didn't in the end. And then that's listed coats, coats. Yeah, you can see. Listed, listed, yeah. And that is a... Here was Hidditch and Key that I got. Uh, from Bob Vintage Hall. So, yeah, I put the, the bigger items down the bottom, smaller items at the top. So, they were all the items that I've got clothing-wise. 
obviously not including the shoes. Just the t-shirts, shirts, jumpers, jeans, trousers, a few minor coats, little coats. It doesn't seem a lot to some of you clothing sellers, but for me, I'll take forever, but one bit at a time. So in the next video, I'm going to get some of these out, measured, drafted up, photographed, and sorted out. This is a free app that I downloaded from Google Play called Photo Room. What it does is you get a photo, you can take off the background. For example, if you start from photo, say for example this one. And you get all these classic different types when it comes up. So what I normally do, I click this one here. And it sorts the background out. You've got a photo room, but when you pull it to size, you won't show the photo room logo. You can save it. Um, which you put there, save it at the top. And it's easier to wipe the background out. Doesn't take long, no rough edges. Easy enough to do on Photo Room via Google Play for free. So what I'm going to do in the next few days, which probably start on Saturday, is go through some the items of clothing, sort out what I've got that's not listed, then check for any stains and stuff and pick those out, sort out first if they're worth listing or not. Then go through, do a draft on eBay, check out the prices, titles, descriptions, all that stuff, and the um, specifics as well. And then what I'll do, I'll probably get them photographed a small batch at a time, work through those, and then use Photo Room, white out the background, add the photos up to my store, boom! And then hopefully soon they'll be sold. So it's quite a big process to do, but it is what it is, and I've got to keep on doing it. So hopefully you like this video, let me know in the comments below, do you do clothing in a small way? Are you a big clothing seller? Let me know. And like, share and subscribe. Take care. See ya.